What's going on out there in YouTube land? I'm Walter Jones. And I'm Jones for movies. So, uh, I have a very small uh, Criterion haul. Well, little, little, uh, little sneak peek there. Um, I have this crazy idea that I'll talk about after I'm done showing you what I picked up. Now, this is before the sale that happens on Friday. Because uh, I called my local Barnes & Nobles. One of the two that are near me. And I said, is the sale happening now? They said, Friday is the day. I said, thank you. I hung up and I promptly went giddy because I have a list. I'm ready. I'm ready for this sale. First sale I've actually gone to uh, for a Criterion at Barnes & Noble. So I'm, I'm pretty jazzed. I'm hoping most of the stuff that I have picked out, I, I know it's there. At least when I checked last, it was, it was still in stock. So hopefully it's there. And if not, well, maybe I'll find something new. So uh, here, here's some stuff I got. I... Uh, I think I, I think I'll, yeah, these were all like basically 20 bucks pop through used bookstore or record stores. So, uh, I picked up Beauty and the Beast. This is spine number five. So this is a super early one, right? Super early one. And, uh, it's, uh, you know, I mean, it's Beauty and the Beast. 1946, 93 minutes, uh, black and white. French with English subtitles at the 133 to 1 aspect ratio. Uh, it'll be interesting. I've never seen this. So, blind buy. A lot of these right here you're going to see are blind buys. Second one I picked up. A little ashamed to admit I've never seen this, but it's spine number 52, and that is Yojimbo from Akira Kurosawa. And this is the 1961, 110 minutes, black and white, Japanese with English subtitles at the 235 to 1 aspect ratio. Yeah, uh, I don't have Sanjiro yet, but uh, I'm slowly getting... The Kurosawa is back there behind me. And I must, uh, and again, I say I've never seen them. All these I've, I've never seen. So these are all blind bodies, brand new to me. I've never seen them. So this next one is spine number 616, Shallow Grave, directed by Danny Boyle. Uh, 1994, 93 minutes, color, 185 to 1 aspect ratio. Hey, look, at, look at that. That is a lot of, a lot of hammers going on there. Up next is spine number 902, and that is Desert Hearts. I've actually never seen this in the wild, so I grabbed it. A film by Donna Deutsch, I guess. I think that's how you say the name. If not, let me know in the comments down below. And this is 1985, 92 minutes, color, 1 to 85 to 1 aspect ratio. Again, I no idea. Like I said, these are all blind buys. A uh, little, little ashamed to admit I've never actually watched this either. But I found it, and uh, the coloring on this is great. And it's spine number 1037, or 1037. And that is War of the Worlds, H.G. Wells. This is 1953. Is it H.G. Wells? No, the, sc the screenplay is H.G. Wells. Director is Barr, Barr, London? Barry, Barry, Barr, I don't know. Uh, yeah, 1953, 85 minutes. 1 to 37 to 1 aspect ratio. Look at this cover, man. This cover is just gorgeous. Little side green. It's just popping. Just popping with green. It's a really great, uh, really great cover. And the last one, spine number 1039. And uh, I, I, I'd seen this. I saw this on the shelf and I looked at it, but I didn't have my glasses on, so I couldn't really read anything. It's all blurry. Uh, but uh, I did have my glasses on this last time I went in there, and I said, oh, man, i got to check this out. Uh, I just watched a video by 20th and 21st is, is it Century Movies. Oh, man, I, I feel bad. I'm getting the channel wrong. I think that's what the channel's called. And he, he picked this up last year. So, And this is Town Bloody Hall. And it's, it's a documentary about uh, Norman Mailer. And a bunch of activists and it's a it's just it's like filmed in town hall it's like it's real it's not fake stuff straight up documentary and it looked interesting 1979 85 minutes 1 to 33 to 1 aspect ratio uh so so these i get to add to the shelf very excited they'll be going up right there you'll get to see them these new colors going right there so i got two others now i've rented these two i have not bought these and this, this is where uh, my insane slash genius plan comes in. Uh, wouldn't it be cool, I think to myself, if I could 
you know, uh, rent and watch, or if I own them, watch them, every Criterion film made. Now, I know that some will, will be hard to get, but I have them in other formats, so I know it's a bit of a cheat, but I'm, I'm going to call it. Like, I have Hard Boiled, I have The Killer, but it's not the Criterion edition. It's, it's the whatever edition it's out in DVD. But it's in the Criterion collection, so I would call it cheat and I'll watch them. And I, I'd like to go alpha, or spine number, but um, that's going to be difficult. But saying that, I'd like to watch and review every single film in the Criterion collection. Now, if I watched one movie a day, it would take me some ridiculous amount of time, like three to five years. And uh, that's not going to happen, so it's going to take me longer. Um, but I will be posting my thoughts on this and this other film. Now, they're not going to be in spy number order. I mean, I do have spy number two, but I was able to rent Grand Illusion, Criterion Collection. Uh, uh, Jean Renoir's Renoir? I, I'm massacring that horribly, sorry. Uh, I watched this and I really liked it actually. It was really a great film. And uh this was uh I mean look look at the back. It doesn't like is there even a yeah, this is the old the old D just but there it is, like spine spine number one. And like it's like this way, right? Like it's not even the right way. It's like just like just like a line, looks like a line. So uh but they, they have they have a ton of criterions at this video store that I'm very close to, or very close by, I should say. Not like we're dating or anything, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll be I'll be giving a review on this and this one, and I hope this gets a Blu-ray release really bad. And I think it's it's really hard to see. I think it's spine number three fifty two, and I, I love this thing. I can't wait to see this on Blu-ray, maybe even four K if I'm lucky. And that is Jigoku. This was interesting, and I was watching. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna leave it for review. I, I love this film. It was great. Both these films were really great. So there, there's my crazy thoughts on reviewing every Criterion film out there. Uh, chime in below if you think I'm insane. Or, 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 or chime in below if you think I'm insane. Did I just say that twice? I think I did because I'm crazy. All right, folks. That's it. Take it easy. See you again real soon. Bye.